Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Laura Ingle. What if I told you that you could change your DNA right now? You think I was crazy, right? Well, it turns out you can actually mold your genetics to fight off disease and live longer. The science behind it is called nutrigenomics. And joining me now to tell us all about it is Dr. Partha Nandy. He's the author of the book, Ask Dr. Nandy. Thank you for being here. So, of course, we want to ask you all about this because this sounds like an incredible new find. So what is nutrigenomics exactly? Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, it's a big fancy word, but what it means is that the stuff you put in your mouth can actually affect your genes. So, for example, you put a food in your mouth, it can actually affect how, what kind of genes, what kind of proteins come out. So that's why it's so critical. For me, you know, my grandpa died when he was age 47 from a heart attack. So I wanted to be around for my kids and not have the same fate. So I did a lot of research to find out. And, and we're talking off camera. I, you know, we didn't have this in medical school. Right. And so now this is cutting edge research that shows that I can actually, and you can, and everybody else, can actually change your genes, meaning that you can change what your genes produce. So you're not, you're not held by that, and you're not just saying, I am only my genes, but you can actually take your destiny in your hands. That's what's so cool about it. Wow. So what happens in the body when you eat certain foods and how can then the genes be affected by that? So in my hotel this morning, next to it was a deli. And so I had very limited good choices, but I did get some blueberries and some yogurt. So when I put it in my mouth, the blueberries, when it, when it goes into the intestine, it actually releases factors. And those factors interact with my body so they connect so that the, the genes actually produce the right protein. So the right protein that can actually be healthy for you. Now, if you eat a bunch of crap, Mm -hmm. And if you eat, you know, I don't know, some, some bacon, eggs, and sausage, the opposite will happen. You'll get inflammation in your body. So the same foods can be harming you or helping you. And that's the key is that you can take a little journey through your body and it can make it better or make it worse for you. And we all know that we're all supposed to eat right, okay? But when we're talking about diseases, how does this affect certain diseases in the body? Are there certain ones that do better with this type of eating? So Laura, the, the, the question is that which disease does it not affect? So obesity, cancer, sure. hypertension, stroke. My dad had a stroke and it was a huge stroke, devastated his life. And so what we talk about is how can food then, then take you on a journey? What I did was in my community, I'm from Detroit, Detroit metro area, we took our, our patients, my family, our community and said, how can we take them on this health journey? And how can we make them health heroes? Meaning you can make them advocates so you can control your own destiny. And that's when I did my research in, in, in this new book. I did my research to find out what I could do. And the biggest factor thus far is this to this, this action, right. right? What you put in your mouth can really change how your diseases are expressed. So all those diseases that are killing us in America and the world, you can change. Okay, so we talked about blueberries and yogurt, but yeah. what other foods should we be looking at? So I think whole foods, lean fats, and healthy fats, as well as lean source of proteins. For example, I love, I'm Indian, so I love legumes. We eat this thing called dal every day. My son eats it every single day. So foods like that would be terrific if you can just ask your doctor, of course, for your particular health condition, but if we can have more fruits and veggies, but more than that, I'd like some love for the legumes. Nobody knows about them. Look them up when you get home, those, those you're watching, and, and have those kinds of foods. They'll interact with your body to give you the right stuff to live a great life. All right, so this is, of course, not a guarantee that you're not going to get a disease, uh, but what other steps can people take as we look through this method? Yeah, in my research, you know, for myself and my family and my patients, I, I developed a five-step plan. Eating mindfully or what you put in your mouth is important, but I think purpose is important. I also think purposeful movement, not just working out, you know, mindlessly, but purposeful movement and also cultivating your mind, using mindfulness, prayer, meditation. And the, my favorite is tribe. If I can get my entire tribe to do what I'm doing, or even have a small tribe, I'm more effective. So if you put those five steps together, you really have power to change your life, and that's what I like about changing it. Changing your life and actually changing your DNA. Isn't that cool? It's incredible. It's unbelievable. It is incredible. Well, thank you for sharing all this with hey, us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you. And if you have a health question, you want to send a tweet to Fox News Health. I'm Laura Ingle, Fox News.